Hey guys, what's up? Five here with episode number 14 of the West Ham career mode on EAFC 24. In the previous episode, we progressed in the Europa League. We defeated Atalanta on penalties. Coming into this one, we are taking on Newcastle and we kind of set a new rule. Going forward, Big Six teams plus Newcastle in the Premier League will play them on ultimate difficulty. We'll play everyone else on legendary difficulty. Just to kind of keep it more realistic. Because obviously we did beat Arsenal. We um, drew with United. Had a couple of big results against some top teams. And you can see the league table there. It's actually another Man City and Liverpool title race. Newcastle and Arsenal in there or abouts. And as we see we are taking on Newcastle here today. So this game is on ultimate difficulty. 14 minutes in the first chance coming Newcastle's way. Passing it around. Isaac finds Almiron and the new the new like OP thing seems to be near post shots, especially on ultimate difficulty, because they just do not get saved. Uh, the ultimate AI just yeah, it's impossible for them to save. You know, I tried one there, but he saves it. You know, it's it's a classic ultimate AI kind of thing. And hopefully it gets fixed, because that seems to be the major kind of goal that I am conceding against Ultimate AI and it's one of the reasons why we have gone on to Legendary because we're conceding so many goals at the near post whether it's coming in at that acute angle or even in the near post from the edge of the box the keeper still can't get to it bottom corner as well keepers don't seem to get to so hopefully there's a patch coming out soon that fixes that and um, eventually we can go back onto Ultimate Difficulty for all of the games we play we did bring it back through Tammy. We almost went ahead through Willy Nonto. But he just went wide of the post. Trippier against Nonto is, you know, it's night and day. The pace is clearly on Nonto's side. Tammy just couldn't quite get to that one. He wasn't quite tall enough. But we are going to recycle the ball. Find Lucas Paqueta. And like I said, that probably would have went in if it was down the other end for Newcastle against us. But, yeah, it's not, not quite going in our favour here. As just before halftime, Alvarez nicks the ball off of Jolinton, finds Tammy. He's going to look to turn Chris Smalling. Does so, finds Kudus. Kudus finds his man in trip, uh, his man in Bowen, who puts the ball wide of the post. Really should be scoring that one. Had quite a bit of time, quite a bit of space, but he kind of messed it up. And the scores remain at 1-1. Going into the second half, though. Chances coming Newcastle's way early doors. Just like it did in the first half as Joe Willock shoots from range. It's blocked. Finds Anthony Gordon. It's going to find Willock again. I don't know what I was doing there. I was kind of anticipating the near post shot. So I slid in to try and block it. He just turned me and put it in the opposite corner. And they're in front. We equalise almost instantly. From a corner, but not the way that we have been scoring in this season. We allowed the ball to kind of settle after the corner. Find Bowen. He hits it on his left foot into the back of the net. And it's all square once again. And we are going to continue to dominate this game. It's been all us. We've created so many more chances than them. We just haven't put them away. Nick Pope has been the man of the match so far. Saving everything. You know, he's he's been incredible throughout. Ten minutes remaining in this game. And they are going to find Trippier out wide. Cuts past Nonto. Finds Jolinton charging down this right-hand side. He's kind of forced men out with him. Which means there's a free man in Politano in the middle. He's got a man in Isak to find a lovely pass. And keeper should be saving that. There's no way that should be going in. In any form. That should be getting saved. 10 times out of 10 from any goalkeeper. So a bit disappointing. But Jarrah Bowen is there. And I wanted the outside of the foot shot there, not the skill shot. And it kind of let us down. If he had gone with the outside of the foot shot there, I think we would have scored. But it didn't quite work out the way I had planned. And we lose again. We lost to Burnley in the previous episode. We lose to Newcastle in today's episode. Worst defensive team in the league, that is us. 74 goals conceded in 29 games. But I think we've also scored about 70 goals as well. So, you know, it's not, you know, it's bad, but it's not as bad as it could have been. We do go one down again, though. This game, obviously, against the Big Six team. It's going to be on ultimate difficulty. And this game is probably the worst game of the season. You'll see why in, in the uh, 
coming moments, but it's a very similar one to the Newcastle game. We're having a lot of chances. 34 minutes in, we equalise with Tammy Abraham, who is approaching 30 goals on the season. But yeah, it is very, very similar to the game against Newcastle. But we actually, in this game, we pull our chances away. But yeah, some, some bad things happen in this game and probably going to have a big knock-on effect on the rest of our season, really, if you... um. Kind of all things considered, Jared Bowen here just before the hour mark cuts past Upamecano, plays it inside to Kurus. He finds Willie Nonto, and Willie Nonto continues his good run of form, putting the ball into the back of the net just before the hour mark. 2 1. The game's been flipped on its head in our favour. Very, very nice. Here, yeah. a chance for Spurs. Son is dispossessed by Ara Wambasaka. Kudus finds Paqueta. Paqueta's going to just charge it through to Tammy Abraham. One on one with Upa Meccano. Allows some space because he's come so far out wide. For Kudus in the middle on his stronger left foot. Puts it into the back of the net. 3 1 to West Ham. Very impressive. But they've just subbed on Madison. The creativity from here on out is going to be insane. Especially when they whip it in and they score bicycle kicks like that. Georgie probably should be doing better there. It's against Ultimate AI, so I'll give him a cut. You know, I'll, I'll cut him some slack, you know. Should be doing better there, but yeah, you know. Ultimate AI seems to score these goals. They, they score when they want to. You know, they'll, they'll toy with you and then they'll score when they want. As Tammy is through one on one, he should be scoring there. But the score remains 3 2. 85 minutes into the game. Benton Kyoto Madison. He's completely switched this game since he's come on. And he's charging down the byline. Finds Teremi. Teremi shoots. Georgie should be saving that one as well. 3-3 three, three on the night. Madison to Teremi once again is our downfall. From kickoff. 87 minutes in. There's still a chance we can win this one. You know, we can still, still go home with all three points here. Kudus is taken down by Destiny Udogi. He's down, he's clearly in pain, you know, in real life I think Son is a type of respectful footballer who would kick the ball out. Instead he plays it to the back post. Lo Celso scores against us in the final minute of the game for the second time in a row since we've played Spurs. Kudus goes down injured, he stays down injured, he is forced off and the game is going to end. In a disappointing defeat when we were 3-1 to the good. Two goals Georgie should have done much, much better in. One of which where they, you know, re re respectfully should have kicked it out for Kudus to receive his treatment when he was in so much pain. And you can tell how much pain he was in because he broke his tibia. So he's going to be in a lot of pain there. Seven months out, broken tibia. Imagine that. Imagine the pain of a broken tibia. You know, like, come on, kick the ball out, son, you know. For those that don't know, the, the tibia is, I think it's the bigger bone in the lower leg. So he's basically broken his lower leg there, like maybe like Luke Shaw did, maybe. I don't know if Luke Shaw broke his tibia, but I remember that, that horrible, ta 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 horrible challenge that happened on Luke Shaw in that Champions League game. Maybe like that, so his leg was probably hanging off. If we're being realistic, kick the fucking ball out. But, you know, football is football. And the bad form continues because we're coming to this one against Wolves. We go 1-0 down very early on. We go 2-0 down half an hour in. And this is back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back defeats for the first time in a very long time. We have capitulated. Since that loss to Burnley, an incredible goal, I will say there, from Sarabia. But since that game against Burnley, that defeat, we have been terrible. We have been absolutely terrible. We have got the Europa League in the next round. We are taking on Liverpool, of all teams, so probably going to be knocked out. We're probably going to get knocked out. We're probably not going to qualify. And by the end of the season, we're probably going to get sacked from West Ham. But this game... It's basically over in the 55th minute. We thought we'd come back through Tammy, but they are going to score again through Bellagarde. 
And that's going to be it for today's episode. A 4-1 defeat to Wolves and a 7-month kudus injury to end the episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I definitely haven't. But if you have, please like, subscribe and peace.